Hello viewers, welcome to my channel. I'm Hashim Ali Khan. So far, nine problems I've completed on allowances, entertainment allowance and house rent allowance. In this video, I'm continuing from 10th problem. Still two more problems I'll explain on HRA, house rent allowance. Then we'll go for other allowances like transport allowance, children education allowance, children hostel allowance and different types of allowances. So before starting the problems, I expect my viewers to have a printout of the problems which I have given in the link under my description. Take the screenshot of the points written on the board, then I'll explain every point in detail. Come, see the 10th problem. Sri Jaya Janardhan Reddy, working in Madurai city, received the following emoluments during the financial year 22-23. So basic pay 65,000 per month, DL 21,000 per month, HRA 13,000 per month. He took an accommodation in Madurai city on a monthly rent of 12,000 but not yet occupied the house and staying in father-in-law's house in the same street. Calculate the taxable portion of HRM. According to the provisions of Income Tax Act, if the SSC is staying, living in a rented house and paying the rent, then only HRA exemption under section 10, subsection 13A will be allowed. If he is paying the rent but still not yet occupied the house, then Income Tax Act says no exemption will be allowed actual HRA received is fully taxable. So in this case, he has taken the house on rent, but he has not yet occupied. So no exemption. Actual HRA received, how much uh, actual HRA received? 13,000 per month is fully taxable. So your answer will be like this. SSC is paying the rent of the house, but not yet occupied the same for his residence. Hence, no exemption can be given. The so actual HRA received 13,000 per month into 12, 1,56,000 is fully taxable. That's it. Next, 11th problem. From the following particulars, calculate the gross income from salary of Mr. Chidambaram, government employee working in Delhi for the assessment year 23-24. <clears throat> Basic pay 26,800 per month. DA 45% of basic and HRA 12.5% of basic. He took a house on rent at 4,200 per month. But due to some litigation, <coughs> due to some litigation with the landlord, rent is not paid for the last four months of the year. <coughs> Provision of Income Tax Act is, if the rent is paid, then only exemption will be allowed. Whether the SSC is a government employee or non-government employee, immaterial. Now here, rent is paid only for 8 months. So exemption can also be given only for 8 months, not for 12 months. He has received the HRA for 12 months, but he has paid the rent only for 8 months. So here, HRA is received for 12 months, but rent is paid only for 8 months. So exemption will be given only for 8 months. And... The exemption, HRA exemption is least of the following three amounts. First one, actual HRA received. The actual HRA received is 12.5% uh, 12.5% of basic. How much is basic? 26,800 per month. So 26,800 per month into 12. So one year basic is 321,600 into 12.5%. Uh, into it comes to 40,200. This is the actual HRA received. Now rent paid minus 10% of salary. The rent is uh, 4200 per month but he has paid the rent only for 8 months. So 4200 into 8, 33600. 10% of basic. <coughs> basic is given as uh, 26800 into 8. That is 214,400 into 10%, 21,440. So 33,600 minus 21,440, 12,160. Third one is 50% of salary because SSC is living in Delhi. 
for four foot metropolitan cities we have to take 50 percent remaining will take 40 percent here 50 percent of 2 lakh 14 400 it comes to 1 lakh 7 thousand 200 least of these three 40,200, 12,160 or 107,200. The least is 12,160. This is exempted. It is asking you what is a taxable HRA. So from actual HRA received, deduct the exempted HRA. Actual HRA received 40,200. Exempted HRA 12,160. Deduct, we'll get 28,040 as taxable HRA. In this problem, it is not asking only to calculate taxable HRA, it is asking you to calculate gross income from salary. So gross income from salary will be computed like this, basic pay. Basic pay is for 26,800 into 12 for complete one year, 321,600. Allowances DA, 45% of basic, it comes to 144,720. And taxable HRA is 28,040. Only three items we have in gross income from salary. So gross income from salary is 4,94,360. That's it. This is the end of 11th problem. Now, 12th problem. From the following particulars, compute to the taxable HRA of Mrs. Arundhati, who is working in indoor city in a limited company, other town. Her salary particulars uh, her salary uh, income particulars per month are basic pay 42,000 per month, DA 16,000 per month, HRA 32,000 per month, rent paid by her 7,000 per month. She is living in a rented house, so HRA exemption is allowed. Now, on 1st July 2022, she got an increment in salary at the rate of 13% in basic and all allowances. So, our year begins from 1st April 2022. So she got an increment on 1st July 2022. So we compute April, May, June. First three months we find out how much is the exempted HRA. Then from 1st July onwards she got an increment. So her basic and allowances have changed. So we have to find out the new exemption from 1st July 2022. She got an increment. Okay, on 1st September 2022, she had been transferred to Mumbai city. So, July, August, two months. Only for two months, we have to compute the new exempted HRA. Because from 1st September onwards, she has been transferred to Mumbai city and rent paid by her is 29,600. So, again, a new exemption we have to calculate from 1st of September. On 1st March 2023, she bought a flat in Mumbai and shifted her residence to the new house. She has purchased a flat. Now she is not living in a rented house. So she won't get exemption for the last one month. That is March. Right? So in this way, we have to compute the exempted HRA for three different four different situations. From 1st April to 31st August. For, uh, no, not 31st August, uh, July means June, 30th June, 1st April to 30th June, from 1st July to 31st August, from 1st September to 28th February, then from 1st March to 31st March, like that. So separately we have to compute the exempted HR. Here, Mrs. Anandati exemption HR from 1st April, our year begins from 1st April to 30th June. Because from 1st July onwards, she got an increment in salary and allowances. So, three months. April, May, June. HRA received 32,000 per month. She was getting three months, 96,000. Rent paid minus 10% of salary. Rent paid 7,000 per month. It is given in the problem. Three months, 21,000. 10% of salary. Salary is 42,000 per month, basic, only basic will take because HRA is not entering for retirement benefit. So 42,000 into 3, 126 into 10%, 12,600, 8,400. Last one, 40 percent of salary because the SSC is living in other town, Indore. So 40 percent of 1 lakh 26,000 basic salary, 50,000. Least among these three is 8,400. That is the exempted HRA for the first three months. 
Now, from 1st July onwards, up to 31st August, 1st July to 31st August, so July and August, only two months. For two months, we calculate what is the new, uh, I mean, exempted HRA. 1st July 2022, 31st August, 20, two months. Actual HRA receipt. Now we can see there's an increment of 13% in basic. 13% in 13% uh, uh, in basic and all allowances to so all allowances so earlier she used to get 32,000 32,000 she was getting before HRA now 13% you increase 32,000 into 13% whatever you get add up you will get 36,160 so earlier 32,000 now 13% increment 36,160 per month into two months 72 320 rent paid same rent she was paying 7,000 per month so 7,000 into 2 14,000 into 10% of basic salary earlier basic salary was 42,000 but now 13% increase in salary so 42,000 into 13% add that increased salary will be 47,460 into 2, 94,920. So 10% 9,492. 14,000 minus 9,492, 4,508. Lastly, 40% of salary, 40% of 94,920, it comes to 37,968. Least among these three is 4,508. This is the exempted HR. Now, next, from 1st September onwards, she has been shifted to Mumbai. And the rent paid by her is 29,600 per month. This is up to 28th of February 2023. Because from 1st March 2023, she was living in her own flat, own house. So here, exemption from 1st September 2022 to 28th of February 2023. How many months? September, October, November, December, January, February. Six months. So actual HRA, how much actual HRA she was getting? 36,160, right? The same 36,160 into 6, 260, 960. Rent paid by her is 29,600 in Mumbai. So 29,600 into 6 months, 177,600. Minus 10% of salary. Salary is the increased salary, 47,460. After 13% increase, the basic is 47,460. So 47,460 into 6 months, 2,84,760 into 10%, 28,476. So 177,600 minus 28,476, 14,000, 1,49,124. Now 50% of salary because now she is living in Mumbai for metropolitan city, 50%. So 50% of 290 to 84,760, 140 to 380. Now compare it. 260, 960, 149, 124 or 142, 380, whichever is least. 142, 380 is the least. That is the exempted HRA. Now from 1st March 2023 to 31st March 2023, one month, she, was, she has purchased a flat and now living in her own house, not paying any rent. So no HRA exemption. Actual HRA received for this one month is fully taxable. So exemption nil since she lives in her own house. No exemption. Now we'll come to find out the <clears throat> actual taxable HRA. So first we take actual HRA receipt. First time actual HRA received 96,000. So I have taken 96,000. Second time HRA received 72,380. 72, Third time actual HRA received 26960. And last one month, that is the month of March, she got the HRA, but she is not paying the rent, no exemption. So actual HRA received for the last month 36160. So total HRA received 421480. The HRA received during the whole year, 12 months. Minus <clears throat> exempted HRA. So first case, exempted HRA is 8,400. Second case, exempted HRA, 4,508. Third time, exempted HRA, 142,380. And last case, exemption nil, zero. 
सो टोटल एक्सेप्टेड एच आर वन फिफ्टी फाइव टू एटी एट सब्ट्रैक्ट तो टैक्सेबल एच आर इज टू लैख सिक्सटी सिक्स थाउजेंड वन are the problems on hra exemption house rent allowance now the next problem will be on transport allowance now regarding transport allowance if the ssc is a normal person actual transport allowance received is fully taxable irrespective of the amount spent whereas if the person is a handicapped person not not a normal person then up to 3200 per month Up to three thousand two hundred per month is exempted. Remaining is taxed. So here, Sri L N Sharma, thirteenth problem, is working in a limited company in Guntur. His salary particulars per month are basic twelve thousand, D A three thousand, C C A two thousand, transport allowance nineteen hundred. Calculate the taxable amount of transport allowance. We are not concerned with H R. Now it is the problem on transport. First of all, the S S C. is a normal person no exemption is allowed actual transport allowance 1900 per month into 12 is fully taxed the ssc is a normal person so actual amount received as transport allowance 1900 into 12 to uh, to 22800 is fully taxed next 14th problem Calculate taxable portion of Mr. Kalappa transport allowance in the following two situations: SSC is a physically handicapped person, and secondly, SSC is a normal person. Basic pay seven thousand five hundred per month, bonus five thousand per annum, transport allowance three thousand per month, actual amount spent to one thousand per month. So here, first case is the SSC is a physically handicapped person, up to three thousand two hundred not taxable. So here. physically handicapped person the transport allowance is received is fully exempted because it is below 3200 now ssc is a normal person actual allowance received 3000 per month into 12 36000 is fully taxable that's it so in this <clears throat> video i have explained you three problems on house rent allowance and two problems on transport allowance remaining few more problems are there that uh, i'll explain you in the next video in short